YouTube channel. I thought I'd try to slide in one more Mustang review before the end of the season. This time we have a 14 Roush Stage 3. This particular car started its life as a GT Premium Performance Pack before it was sent to Roush for modifications. This car has every option you could get from Roush. It has the optional boost gauge, it has the optional seats which are not only ugly, they are uncomfortable and non-supportive. As you can see it says Roush everywhere in the interior. The rear window louvers were also optional, as well as the 20 inch wheels. See we got three more Roush emblems on the trunk lid. The side graphics were also an option. There's another Roush badge there. This particular one is supercharged, that came with a stage 3 upgrade. One more Roush badge in the grill and a big Roush emblem across the windshield. We're selling this one for $37,000. It's originally stickered for $60,000. Enough with the walk around, let's get this thing out on the street. off-road exhaust is my favorite part of this car. It's unfortunate you can't hear the supercharger at all. The transmission shifts are short and firm and the car feels really planted to the ground but as you can see up here when I hit some bumps it's really stiff and sometimes harsh. Roush claims a 0 to 60 time of 4.5 seconds and a quarter mile time of 12.9 seconds. Both of those times are actually slower than a stock 2019 Mustang GT. I'm going to put the hammer down up here and see what happens. A little bit of wheel spin in second and third. Ooh, I thought I saw a cop there for a minute. This car definitely does not feel like a 565 horsepower supercharged V8. After this road test, I did some research to see why this car felt so slow. And although it does put out 565 horsepower, the Roush tune is super conservative for longevity and reliability. calipers up front do a pretty good job of slowing the car down but the six piston calipers on the Shelby GT and the new GTs with track pack do a much better job. We're going to go through the gears one more time and listen to that sweet Roush exhaust on our way back to the dealership.
are back at Moon Township Ford. We checked out the top. Now we're going to get it up on the lift and check out the bottom. Under the hood we have the optional hood struts, which I think every car should come with, and the optional painted valve covers. Here's the 2.3 liter TVS Eaton Roots Type Supercharger. Here's the technician that built the engine. Here's the coolant bottle for the supercharger. Here's the plaque that states that it has 565 horsepower and 505 foot-pounds of torque. Up on the hoist, you can get a better look at the optional 20 inch wheels wrapped in Cooper tires that were co developed with Roush, Brembo brakes, super stiff Roush custom tuned springs and struts. Rear brakes are just stock Mustang GT. You can see the shocks and springs back there as well. The rear diffuser is unique to Roush along with the square exhaust tips. See the RS3 in the graphics there. It even says Roush in the wheel. In the front bumper is all unique to Roush. Under the car, you can see the much larger Roush front sway bar. The stock MT82 transmission. And the exhaust is pretty much stock all the way back to the rear axle. Back here is where you can see the much smaller Roush mufflers. Has 373 gears in the rear end. And that finishes up the look at the bottom of the car. When we got this car in, I was really excited to check it out, but after driving it, I was pretty underwhelmed. The seats are uncomfortable and the suspension is too harsh. The performance is also lacking. Altogether, there are 26 different things that signify this thing as a Roush. So unless you really love Roush, you would have been better off buying a Boss 302 or a Shelby GT500. So in my opinion, this car was definitely not worth $60,000. I hope you enjoyed this review, and thanks for checking out my channel.